What up you beauties, welcome back to the channel, welcome to this video, and welcome to giveaway number one. Let's get to it, okay? So for this giveaway, your sidearm is gonna be the Maverick. Very trusty, revolver, six darts, wonderful. But your primary is gonna be the Recon CS6, another six darts, and this gun does not at all fit in frame, but like we can sort of make it happen, do do do, you know, like a shark. But anyway, did you watch Shark Week? Let me know down below. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And if you didn't, there's lots of it on YouTube, so you should check that out too. But anyways, um, yeah, let's just get to it. We're gonna do some modification, we'll do some paint, and at the end, you'll see it all. Okay guys, we're gonna start nice and simple. We'll start with the Maverick. There's a uh, few screws, and obviously you're gonna have to take out. Um, so let's just get to it. Ta-da, and now you have the guts of the Maverick. So for today's purposes guys, we're not gonna to touch the spring, we're really gonna focus on the barrel. And that's really all I'm gonna focus on, the Mavericks in general. It's probably the coolest mod in terms of the Maverick as it is. So that's really where we're gonna focus. So we're just gonna pop the barrel out, pull it back on this guy here, release it, and then quite literally just pull up. Okay, so now to take the barrel apart. Basically all it is is a pin that runs through both sides, um, or through the whole thing really, um, and it's held in place by a slight bit of grit on the pin, which is just holding on to the plastic piece here. So all it is is a pressure fit. So all you really need to do is get something in that gap there and just twist and kind of move it around and eventually it'll let go. Now the barrel itself is held together with screws as well. This is probably the easiest air restrictor mod you can do because it's literally just taking it apart. There's three screws in the top here. And there's three screws in the bottom here. You do have to move this thing. It does kind of get in the way, but spin it around a little bit. Let's take this thing apart. All right, so now that's all loose. This pops off like nothing. So <laughs> now you can see all the springs that come out the bottom. Some of them get stuck in here. Some of them stay in here. And those are the air restrictors. So these can all come out. And on top of that, all these can come out. And that is the beauty of a Maverick. Everything falls straight out. It's super, super simple. We'll set that aside. Now we're gonna get into what you have to do to make it a half barrel mod. So you gotta get rid of this tab here. And you've gotta get rid of the kind of like chunks on this side here. What you can't really do when this piece is attached. It'd be an absolute pain. But there's screws on the inside here. So if you take these two off, it'll actually come right out, making it a lot easier to work with. That will pop out and set that side. This guy will pop out. And now you've got much better access to shave these off to really make it nice and round. That way it'll be really smooth in terms of coming out. Now, there's another part where if you're not really comfortable with knives, you might want to get a friend or a parent to do it for you. But all we're doing is trimming this off basically as per the line that you'll kind of see shape. So basically, if you look at this straight on, you'll notice there's a line and obviously it curves down. All we're looking to do is keep that plane and just get rid of those two bits. So take it off either as a whole chunk if your knife's nice and sharp, which mine might not be, but we're about to find out, um, or take it off little by little, which is a lot easier to do. So we'll see how this goes. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna switch sides. I think this side's still sharp. is legitimately all we're looking to do. Nice and simple. As far as this piece goes, we're just removing this tab here. This little tab here, not this one. You really need that one, so don't do that. Okay, on to the primary. So, this is obviously a big gun, so I'm gonna take it all apart, um, piece by piece, really, and show you guys all of it. So, I'm gonna take the stock off, set that aside. We'll start with the meat and potatoes. So, oh, make all of the noise in the world. Basically, this gun is not really all that difficult to work on either, nor is it really all that complicated. You've got one kind of tricky bit, which is the back here. There are actually two screws in the back. Those have to come out in order for the body to come apart. So, let's zoom through this again, guys. 
Let's get this gun apart so you can see the inside. Okay, now let's see if it actually comes apart. Nice. All right. That would be why. I forgot about that. <laughs> the uh, caulking mechanism is actually screwed into the shell, if you will. So, there goes that idea. There are two pieces. But, here are the guts as I make all the noise in the world again. Same thing, guys. We are not doing anything crazy. The spring is going to remain the same. What I'm going to do again, in this case, is remove the air restrictor, which is buried within here. So, kind of like the other gun, we're just going to drill it out. Our spring we can pop out, our trigger mechanism we can pop out just to kind of get the big stuff out of the way and set those aside. We don't really need those right now. So basically what we're aiming to get to is right in and around here. Basically all you have to do is pull this up and it pops right out. We're in the garage now guys so that means it's time for some paint to drill out the air restrictor for the recon but without further ado let's get right to it guys. We're gonna do some white right now Got all the pieces laid out. Okay, so here we are. The pieces for the most part are nice and white. All the stuff that looks like Nerf stuff, we're gonna hit with some nice brown for some, well, really dark brown actually, it's basically black. Uh, for some nice contrast. The clip itself, one side of it will be nice dark brown, the other side will be white. The pieces for the back, these guys are over here, this is for the stock, those are going to be nice dark brown. And then we'll get into some more color for some contrast on the actual guns. Let's paint these guys real quick though. All right, well, those are nice and coated. I'm gonna let them dry. And then we'll get into some red, which we'll use on the gun's bodies, really, here and there. And we'll throw even some on the barrel for the recon, because it's a pretty big gun. It needs a little bit more color throughout. So now to add some color, we got some nice dark red here to complement the white and the nice dark brown. They'll kind of work well together. For this gun, you'll notice there's actually nothing that's taped off. This is a pretty freeform design, so hopefully it turns out all right. I'm just gonna go ahead with some lines just across all the pieces. I've got them all lined up here. So they'll kind of look cool being that uh, they'll kind of follow opposite patterns if I go the same way. But let's just go through it. And the next time you see them, they'll be together. So hopefully they look good. Okay guys, so now we're back in my room. The guns are ready to go. The paint looks mint. I absolutely love it. I think it looks sick. It turned out a lot better than I thought it did. Honestly, when I sprayed it on the wood, I thought it looked really bad, but half the paint is actually on the wood and wasn't even on the guns, which is fabulous. So I'm not gonna leave you guys waiting here. Let's get right to it. Recon looking minty fresh right next to the Maverick and the clip itself is white on the one side, black on the other. And you'll notice quite, quite quickly, I missed the trigger. Not only on the Recon, but also on the Maverick. To whoever wins these, not to worry, those are gonna be painting black, painted black. I'm just gonna do them kinda on the side. It's not gonna really be part of this video. But guys, if you have any color suggestions going forward, comment on this video, let me know down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, you kind of want to do so, especially if you want to win these guns. That's the only way you're going to win them. Basically, whenever I hit 200 subscribers, they're going to go out to one of you guys. Compliments of me, shipping, everything, it's all taken care of. I'll send it with darts and everything. So you're going to be ready to go, okay? But guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Who knows what we're going to do. We might be back in the kitchen. I might even just show you how to make chairs. But you guys take it easy. I'll see you soon.